Timmerman explaining to Peter the use of the Astrolab. The future Russian Tsar, who would be the first to use the title Emperor, was born on the night of May the 30th, 1672. He was the 14th child of Tsar Alexei Mikhailovich, the first by his second wife, Tsarina Natalia Narishkina. After the death of Alexei Mikhailovich and his heir Fyodor III, a struggle for the throne broke out between the influential boyar clans of the Narishkins and Miloslavskis. The Strelsi uprising put an end to the court strife. The Strelsi demanded that the two brothers sit on the throne at the same time, the elder Tsar Ivan and the younger Tsar Peter. The Strelsi also insisted that due to the infancy of both Tsars, their elder sister, Princess Sophia, took over the state administration. After his official coronation, Peter was removed from the court to an estate near Moscow in the village of Priobrazhenskoye. There, he devoted himself entirely to his studies, showing a ready wit and qualities that promised a great sovereign. 1687. Isaac Newton published his major work, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy in which he described the law of universal gravitation and the three fundamental laws of mechanics. Pierre Varignon published The Project of New Mechanics, in which he gave a systematic presentation of the doctrine of the composition and decomposition of forces, the moments of forces, and the rules for operating them. In the Tsardom of Russia, only the clergy, boyars, nobles that is, and some merchants received literacy training and studied other sciences. The village of Preobrazhanskoye, Peter is 15 years old. He was taught to read and write by the clerk Nikita Zotov. Under his guidance, Peter received a primary education and until the end of his life, he wrote with mistakes and using a poor vocabulary. Peter was later able to compensate for his lack of basic knowledge with an enormous amount of practical exercises. For example, at his request, Prince Yakov Dolgoruki brought an astrolabe from France. No one from the young Tsar's suite knew how to use the device. The Dutch merchant Franz Timmerman helped Peter to master the principles of using the astrolabe. From that moment on, he became Peter's teacher in geometry and fortification. Throughout his life, Peter did not lose his childlike curiosity, constantly studied new sciences and mastered new skills. He mentored, ushered into his circle and promoted people who were active and inquisitive, thus forming a new type of Russian statesman. Here is a digital copy of the painting, Timmerman explaining to Peter the use of the astrolabe. The picture was painted by theatrical artist Mikhail Bocharov. The original is stored in the collections of the State Russian Museum.